The first up tonight, look when the books are written, the documentaries are filmed, and the post-mortems are completed on this COVID pandemic. One surefire takeout will emerge. And that is that Australia's regions and the bush have been utterly, utterly done over. The other salient fact is that the pandemic in Victoria has skewed political judgment. How could 52% of Victorians, according to an Ipsos poll published in the Fairfax Papers today, still support Daniel Andrews' handling of the pandemic? 800 people have died, for goodness sake. What would it take for people to mark this fellow down? 80,000 dead? 800,000 dead? The one-size-fits-all approach to Victoria's COVID lockdown and restrictions and the cross-border issues with New South Wales lay bare a government out of its depth. Now, there was a compelling case from day one for regional Victoria to be treated entirely different to Melbourne. Instead, Andrews' big stick approach has sent thousands of small Victorian businesses to the wall, all because he didn't have the competency or the will to sort it out. Now, this is not just a Victorian phenomenon either. Queensland's tourism industry is broken, possibly forever, because the state government failed to understand how badly the economy was hurting because of its draconian restrictions. Today, former Queensland Premier Peter Beattie made it clear that the borders must reopen immediately. Here's what he had to say. Look, I understand what the Queensland government did. And if I was there, I probably would have done the same thing. So I'm not being critical of the past. I'm actually saying now is the time to move forward. Now is the time. Whoever wins the Queensland election, whether it's Anastasia or Deb Frequenton, whoever wins, they're going to be faced with an economic tsunami. Not a good one. So they've got to work out how to go from here. What I'm saying is, OK, what was done in the past? Let's give everyone a big tick for that. Let's move forward. And the way to move forward is to open up the borders. Now, states like WA and Queensland are sending the country broke. Aviation must be up and running before Christmas. And Beattie's foray into the border debate a few days out from the Queensland election is interesting. Now, he was Premier of Queensland for nearly a decade, this fellow, and he understands the state better than anyone. In fact, I would go as far to say I've been watching politics in this state for 30 years. There is no better retail politician than Peter Beattie. And he must be hearing on the ground that the border restrictions are badly hurting business. His intervention, of course, will be dismissed by the Premier as uh, the words of a man who now lives in Sydney. In fact, the Treasurer, Cameron Dick, said as much earlier today. But, of course, that jingoism, state against state, mate against mate, you know, we hear it during State of Origin time, it's the only political card Labor has left. That's what they trot out all the time. As for Andrews, well, he should be studied by Harvard University as a test case in how not to handle a pandemic. He is simply Daniel Andrews, the worst leader in the country.